stick them in there and put pegs in there to, you know, rather than, here you see a peg hole here and a peg hole there and you put the joint, one of these joints like this into there. So you've got a joint like, it. joint like here. Here, see so this? Like a, is that this? we call mortise and tenon? Well, I suppose it would in be in wood. Furniture work, I think it's in, mortise and tenon. But you see the pegs over there, you see all the holes, you the same thing. This is an old, I'll tell you, Peter, if you want to be impressed, this is all hand cut with a hand axe. Is that see, hand, that's not uh, milled at all? No, look at the marks, you can see it. Look at the marks over there, look at the marks along there. Oh my goodness. That's all done with an axe. That's By hand, hand. Done. good yeah. heavens, look at that. Is the axe, is the axe cut? Yeah, you can see the whole length of the thing. Right Somebody there, look at that. Look at that all along, that's just hand hewn. Wow. Oh, oh, so hand cut them with an axe anymore. <laughs> here's the uh, so here's where the I don't know what the proper terms are with the mortise or tenon, but here's the sticky outy bit. Let's call it the mortise. Yeah. Maybe that's the tenon, the goey any bit, and then there's a hole for the peg. Yeah. Right there. So you put the tenon in, or the mortise in, and then you put your peg through. Yeah. Yeah. And here's some pegs. Put up without any nails that way, you know? I was wondering, yeah, so you've got nails in here as well, though. So you've got yeah. a combination of nails and, yeah. and pegs. Now here, so this is these are just old beams, See, but these, here... These didn't come from the farm. These no. Are the beams, yeah, this. But here's... Ours, these are sawed. This is where... Yeah, yeah. now what I think, Peter, what happened is... Uh, uh, you know, this, 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 these timbers came out of an old, another building. Ah, building, they're reused, so yeah. So they didn't fit up the same way. That's why you see notches that don't apply to this building. So it's not that the barn has been remodeled, it's just that, uh... It was used old timbers. Recycled timbers. Yeah. Right. And you're saying these, the timbers of this barn, there's a Hessian bag sitting, poking through there. Timbers of this barn haven't, ha have been milled. You yeah, they look like it. I mean, they're you can see actually you can see the saw marks there. Look at yeah, that. Right, nice yeah. regular um, of a round, big round saw going across there. As opposed to these, <laughs> got hacked with an axe. Yeah. They work. See, and there's a. Is this a wasp nest or is that? Uh, yeah, like, is uh, that a swallow uh, nest? Uh, swallow. Those are swallow nests, yeah. Look at that. And there's another one. Is they, they're called barn barn swallows. Yeah, right. You're right. Yeah. And there's one. It fell down. You can see where it used to be. And help! Look what's on the ground here. A barn the swallow. Fell down. Yep. Yeah. And it's it is mud on the outside. And nice straw on the inside. Look at that. It was just glued onto the side with mud. Look at that. The mud just stuck right. Adhered right to the. Somehow they got mud sticky enough that it just would adhere to done. the wood. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. They think it's sticking out, you know, a good three inches. How do we get that to stick to, to the Yeah, to How hold it. Started? Exactly. You, know, you get the you know, bird flies along and says, Oh, I'll stick a piece of mud here and look at this. They just um you got another fallen one there. And oh that now looks more like a hornet nest. It might have been previously the barn swallow nest, and there's another barn swallow nest. My word. And this is just one tiny section of this big barn. And there's the electrical outlet, which was put in. When was electrics put in, Paul, after you went to uh, college? 29. Twi the barn. On the barn. Uh, no, not electricity. Electricity was put in in 29. But, but how about in the barn? I don't know. It was always there when I was. Oh, well, the electricity was already in the barn. It's just it was the milkers that were the uh, weren't put in until you went to college. That's right, Peter. I just got that right. In fact, that's how we had the fire in this barn was from the electrical source. Ah, is it, are these uh, wires all dead now? I presume. Uh, down. They're not even back here anymore. We used the wire came right across here. Uh. Dead. Put them down. Now someone recited this at some point. Yeah, uh, uh, it was deteriorating pretty badly and. Uh, uh, it's, that's metal siding. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that was, uh, the side that faces the sun has the worst problem. Oh, in New Zealand it's uh, the side that faces away from the sun that deteriorates. Why is that? Really oh, it, it rots, it never dries out, so it's always oh. a little bit damp. Always damp, huh? So it, uh, yeah. Oh.
So when was that uh, metal replaced? That was just that was since Dado died, wasn't it? What, what? That metal side that was done since Dado died, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new owner put it. Put it oh, okay. There was the old silo we used to fill that thing full with a. I almost uh, killed myself a couple of times. Well, one time. I'll show you, Peter. Well, you, we've been back here before. Yeah, the but the old corn planter was back here, and I think it's still there. Remember? I do remember. I took a number of pictures of you. Yeah. I Sitting on it. See that house that built? Yeah. Maybe that equipment's going. Anyhow, Anyhow, to fill that silo, you had to have a silo filler, and this was a machine that sat right here, and it uh, had a long pipe, and the pipe stuck up to the top. Well, uh, and uh, you brought the silage in, you laid it in this trough and it got fed into the chopper and then, and then the the, the, the uh, fan would blow it clear to the top. And, well, uh, you parked it, to drive it, you had a, a belt off your tractor and the tractor would be parked oh, about here in this long belt. Well, at night you wanted to take the belt off to take the tension off, you know. And uh, one time, I thought, well, I'll, it was still running, and I said, well, I'll, I, I put a hammer between, <laughs> between the belt and the pulley, and, and the, and the uh, pulley grabbed the hammer out of my hand, shot it forward, hit the uh, silo filler machine, and it flew straight back and hit me in the leg. Ooh. Thank God it didn't hit me in the head. I've been dead for sure. Wow. You must have had a big bruise from that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah and how old were you when that happened? Oh, I don't know. I was probably a teenager or something. Yeah. You know, working around here. Now, the reason, uh, you see they got the, uh, they had a big fire out here, uh, and that's why they replaced the barns. And Dad said that the silo was there. And, and so this silo, silo is older than the barns? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what happened was, uh, he says that the, uh, Silo became like a flu, and then there was flames shooting out of the top of the silo. And he always thought it got weakened, so he put these uh, braces around the bottom oh. of the silo in case the thing. So pops did that. Yeah. So this is this would have been when did it when did he have done that? Well, before my time, before I was when I was a little kid. You know. So this is done like in the 1920s or 30s. And Barnes built a roof on top of it, and you climbed up. And he had doors. Well, you can see the doors. Yeah, I'll show you. That's for the top. You see those doors up there? Oh, the, I'm What's not the, sure what are doors and what aren't. Well, the doors are, uh, at the top are closed over the, the uh, opening. So the, all of them are doors? Yeah, the, bottom doors. Open the whole thing was doors. And the top of the closed and the bottom they're open? Well, uh, when you filled, you you close the doors as you filled it, you know, obviously, and then tell yeah. you once you clear to the top, well, see those iron bars that reach across there? Those were the steps. And you oh, okay. And so you had to climb up those steps to the top, throw the silage out, and climb back down. Wow. But at the time, we had a chute built around it, uh, you know, it protects you. you so you wouldn't those, fall backwards? Well, you wouldn't fall, no, you'd just fall straight down and kill yeah. yourself that way. <laughs> well, that's all right. The idea was not to fall. Yeah. We, we did not encourage falling. But then you'd pack the silage in this little area in b bushel baskets and take it to the cows and feed the cows. So what is silage exactly? Of ground corn. It's, it's, you take corn when it's still green, still has the ear in it, and it's green, and it's got enough moisture in it that it won't spoil. When you get it up there and, uh, you know, you pile it up very thick and there's no air, so it doesn't deteriorate. This is corn cobs or the no, whole the corn whole, plant? The whole plant. The whole plant. The whole plant, yeah. So you just fill that up with, s yeah, and, it and it's not processed. Huh? So it's not processed at all. No, so it's, it's just, just cut up. It, oh, it is. It's cut up into little pieces. Yeah, yeah. They, bl they blow it up there, you know. They blow it up in little, real fine pieces. Is it like a dust or oh, like not a... that. No, not that. Like the size of a uh, 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 kernel of corn? Well, you'd, you'd, you know, chew up the ears and whatnot. You'd find chopped up ears of corn. You know. Okay. Ah. So how old would that silo be, do you think? Well, it's, it's, it's 
looks like they built the barn in 20, so the silo was before that. This is the age of the previous barn, presumably. So it's silo because you put silage in it, eh? Silage, yes. And there's different types of silage. There's, there's corn silage and other yeah, types as well. Hay silage, okay. Good. So soybeans. You see these barns, how they're put together the same way? That's beech. That's beech wood right there. Boy, that is hard. That's it's beech, a nice beech. solid hardwood. And you can see the... Uh, are those the, the saw marks there, yeah, you think? Yeah, Nice regular pattern. This, across the, there. this is where we're the cow loafing sheds. And we fed them in these bunks. They had bunks right inside of here. We throw the hay and the hay over the side here, and they eat the hay. So uh, that, this is all full of cows before. How many cows would have been in there? Well, we kept about 20 cows. Just in this section? Well, they were just loaf, like, loafed in there. You know, we didn't chain them up or anything. They could walk in and out. Oh, uh, okay. That back door was open. But this is uh, in winter time. Yeah, sure. When they weren't on pasture, they loped in here and we fed them in here. Oh, do you, were they on pasture in summer? Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, I thought you were, you were, yours were grain fed. Well, they did feed them. When they went into the, came in for milking, we gave them grain and sure. So they, they came, came in they for milking? They always got grain the year round. Plus, ground and feed. It was a ground grain. You know, it wasn't just raw, you know, rough corn or something. It was Formulated feed. So you buy it from a supply shop, uh, or well you make it yeah, from the female. Yeah, from the female. Uh, and you'd uh, um, you'd feed them. Uh, obviously, the, the, you'd feed them through the winter. Yeah. And when they be out in pasture at all in winter, or they'd be in a barn for oh, five months no, a year. You bring them off the pastures in the winter. Yeah. So they w wouldn't get out of the barn all winter. Well, they had loafing. They loafed outside. They could oh, okay. be outside, or they could come in here, and they came in here to eat. And they, when you milk them, you have to. You don't have to take them very far when you milk them. No, they milk them over there on that side. Um, so is it? I mean, is this thing where they just kind of lined up to to get milked, or did you have to? Someone it was a bit of a task to to herd them over and get them oh, all they in. Oh, they to come in. Yeah. They did it by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. They come in. They knew where their stalls were. They go right to their stall. And they all had their own individual stalls. Yeah. Ah. This is what the fire was at on this side. And this was, uh, what, around 1950? Uh, 53. 53? Think. And that was when you were in the Navy, was yeah, it? Yeah, when I came home, I was home on leave. Actually. Yeah, and they tried to stop you from coming. Yeah, I remember that stuff. What, what happened when they stopped, tried to stop you from coming? Well, they just said, we just came on and eat. <laughs> There's a set of uh, hay hooks up there, you can see them. Oh, the yeah. The top of the barn. So you did the exact same in this barn as you did in the other barn? Yeah. And brought up the hay? So the hay was on the back of a wagon, I presume, between the two barns. Yeah, was it? it was on the top of a wagon. Top of a wagon. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Type piled type quite high. You know? So then you yeah, had the same... up by hand. Uh -huh. You loaded those wagons by hand. Yeah, and then you had the same thing with the uh, pulley going across the top, and the, there's out that far window, the horse would be out the far side. That's right. Pulling that way, yeah. No, actually, uh, yeah, I guess we pulled them both ways, and you have to have a horse on either end, depending on which way you sent the, you could send the uh, car, you know, either way. On this. But you wouldn't send it that way, would you, because there isn't the other barn in the way over there? Well, no, you, put, you went through a series of pulleys, and the horse went down. Oh, okay. So you had to pull you what on a post in the ground or something? Yeah, off the side of the barn actually. Off the side. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. So, the, oh, that makes. So you, you did that. You did that in both barns. You went in both directions in both barns. Oh, just in this barn. The other barn was all loaded one direction. Yeah. Oh. This wood is amazingly good condition for something that's. Um, you know, we're we're here, and my fingertips are numb. It's so cold because it's below freezing or near freezing. Yeah. There's snow on the ground there. So this wood, you know, is protected from the rain. It's not protected from the cold. from the cold or the it humidity or. It doesn't suffer. There's no moisture in it. It's not going to be hurt by the cold. But the humidity, you know, if it rains, it's going to become quite humid. But despite that, this wood, I presume, is going to be the. Uh, that's quite nice looking wood, actually. It's that'll be. Tongue and groove, no, it's, gosh, a tongue, and it is too, look at that, it's tongue and groove, in a barn. Wow, this really was a show barn, wasn't it? If you have tongue and groove <laughs> siding in the barn, you had some well-catered-for animals. 
So did anything of note burn in the fire? Or was it just, uh, just the hay? Just the, hay? the end of the barn, I uh, had to knock out some boards and throw the burning hay out. Those are some big beams up there. Yeah, so they say these are from the old the tile factory. And then big, uh, when were those big bits of iron put into uh, underneath the beams yeah. there? Uh, well Is that original? Brace, brace, I, they've always been there. You know. Yeah. Just to hold it in together. I wonder who designs this kind of stuff, or where where um, CV got the designs from to... Oh, I don't know. I, I don't think it was for that time it wasn't terribly complicated. No. But you obviously have to plan it all out in advance. You want to oh, know... Yeah, sure. You need to know where to put your beams and how far a span you could get. Yeah. Yeah, but somebody designed your barn. That's all... Sorry. Oh, you could get someone, would you? You wouldn't just get out of Farmer's oh, Almanac sure, or something? Oh, uh, they had a designer, you know. Some and you remember what you saw one day, Daddy O, when we were up there and you climbed up the top of that uh, ladder and looked out the window? And I saw a deer. Yeah, and how many points well, did he have? Here? I was here, I was right at the bottom of the ladder. Oh my gosh, that was a biggie. I forget, 12 points? Yeah. Something like that. It was quite a few. I remember, I didn't, I didn't see him myself, but I remember you saying at the time. Oh, dear, you remember that, eh?